turn my steps to the gladness of my life. To the altar of God, I turn my steps to the gladness of my life. This mass is offered for the soul of Francis Vincent. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. My dear brothers and sisters, this Eucharist, we, Jesus asks us to show that we love him not just by words, but by our deeds. And as we begin this Eucharist, we call to mind one of our failings of today or this week. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us, gather here. Christ, have mercy on your people. Lord, have mercy on us, sinners today. Christ, have mercy on us all. Christ, have mercy on your people. Lord, have mercy on us sinners today. Christ, have mercy on us all. Let us glorify God together. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, take away sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father, and mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. 
with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father glory to God glory to God glory to God highest and honor peace on earth is to be the of good will Amen Let us pray, bring our intentions. O oh God, who teach us that you abide in the hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed to them the Christ. And the crowds with one accord paid attention to what was being said by Philip when they heard him and saw the signs that he did. For unclean spirits, crying out with a loud voice, came out of many who had them. And many who were paralyzed or lame were healed. So there was much joy in that city. Now when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent to them Peter and John, who came down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for he had not yet fallen on any of them, but they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Your response to the psalm shall be, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Please repeat, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. O sing to the glory of his name. O render him glorious praise. Say to God how awesome your deeds. Your response, cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Before you, all the earth shall bow down, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the words of God, awesome his deeds among the children of men. Your response, cry out with joy to God, all the earth. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. Let our joy then be in him. He rules forever by his might. Our response, cry out with joy to God all the earth. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. Blessed be God who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold from me his merciful love. Our response, cry out with joy to God all the earth. A 
a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, in your heart, honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason, for the hope that is in you, yet do it with gentleness and respect, having a good conscience, so that when you are slandered, those who revile you, those who revile your good behavior in Christ may be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that should be God's will, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but alive in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Jesus, open our hearts, that as we listen to your word, we may become a little more like you. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees Him nor knows Him. You know Him, for He dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. Yet a little while and the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. In that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, there are two words to describe the twelve that Jesus chose. One word is disciple, and the other word is apostle. Are they, do they mean the same thing? No. They give us two aspects of what it means to live the Christian life. In fact, Mark says it in his gospel, to be with him and to be sent out. A disciple is one who is being with the master. To be with the master, a disciple learns by being with the master. So that's disciple. Disciple means to be with. If you can't, if you don't be with the master, you can't go because you don't know what to do. You learn by being in his presence. So that's disciple. The second word is apostle. And the word apostle means to be sent. Now that you have been with the Master, you have picked up the values, the attitudes, and the way of life of the Master. Now you can be the Master in today's world. And so here we have the 12 apostles. <clears throat> they have been with the Master. They are going to be sent. It's the Last Supper. 
And Jesus is, you know, giving them his final message. And just before this message, they have all proclaimed a tremendous love for Jesus. In the words of Thomas, let us go with Jesus so that we may die with him. In words they have said, let us go and die with him. Or Peter, Lord, we are ready to die for you. And in the heart, Jesus is saying, oh yeah, oh yeah, you are ready to die for me. And then he tells them, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Now, in John's gospel, when something is very important, it's repeated. So you have here, he says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And again, a little later, whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And immediately at the end of this reading, it appears a third time. In just a few lines, thrice Jesus says, you love me? Then keep my commandments. So, that's all that we are called to as Christians. Love, then show that you love. Ignatius of Loyola is known for his book, The Spiritual Exercise. I'm sure many of you are aware of it. It is a book that has transformed people and made them saints. Hundreds of saints who have followed the spiritual exercise, the 30-day retreat. And every exercise in that retreat starts off, I'm, I'm paraphrasing it, to know, to love, to serve. First you get to know the Lord, that is being with Him. When you are with Him, you love Him, being in His presence. And then you go out to serve. Now, the retreat leads you slowly and gradually into this tremendous love for the Lord. And now that you're so filled with that love for the Lord, now you want to go out. If you love me, then you will keep my commands. Now you will go out into the world. So the last exercise in the spiritual exercise is called the contemplation to attain love. The contemplation to attain love. And we are all familiar with the prayer, take Lord and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding. It comes from that exercise. If we sing, Lord, now I just want to be for you completely. I surrender my mind, my memory, my under... I'm not surrendering things. My very being, Lord, so that you can use me completely. And in that exercise, Ignatius says something very beautiful. Love ought to manifest itself in deeds and not only in words. In the 30-day retreat, we have been saying, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Now he's saying, now show it to me. Now show it to me. Love ought to manifest itself in deeds and not in words. So Jesus is saying, if you love me, now show it to me. Now many of us will say, Lord, I would really love to serve you. I would really love to do what you want. But I don't know your will, Lord. And so that becomes a little excuse for ourselves. Lord, I don't know your will. I don't know your will. But believe me, at least 95% of the time, we really don't need to discern, Lord, what is your will? It's so clear in the Bible. The Bible, the Word of God, if we read it regularly, we know God's will because it's given clearly. About 5% of the time, it's really you have to discern, you know, what is the will? What does God tell me? Discernment is not choosing between good and bad. Discernment is choosing between good and better. So therefore, it's fine-tuning. Good and bad, the Bible tells us clearly. And so today, my dear friends, I place before you, there are so many guidelines Jesus gives us. I place to you just six. Pick up one right now that you feel the Lord is saying, this is the one I need to work on at this moment of my life. I'm giving you six. You might find some other that you think the Lord is saying, this is the area that you are failing. So maybe you look into your life and you know the Bible, so you know this one area. But now I'm placing before you six very simple guidelines given by the Lord. Take any one, don't take more than one, that you want to now live out. So remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Simple. The Ten Commandments. In fact, we have really lost the Sabbath day. Sabbath day very often today, unfortunately, because of work and so many other work factors and home factors, Sabbath become mass and then we carry on with everything else. But really, Sabbath is time where the Lord is the center of the Sabbath day. So the Lord and family. So remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. 
Second, so simple and yet so beautiful. Honor your father and your mother is the only commandment which comes with a promise. Do I really honor, respect and show my parents how much I love them and my duty towards them? So maybe you want that one for yourself right now. The Lord is convicting you for that. Do to others what you would have them do to you. The golden rule. Do not judge or you too will be judged. Am I judgmental? The whole point, pointing a finger, forgetting that my three fingers are pointing back. Do not judge. Forgive others as you would like them, like to be forgiven. Do I need to forgive anybody in my life? Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you. Have I placed God first in my life? I will repeat them once again. Pick up just one. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Honor your father and your mother. Do to others what you would have them do to you, the golden rule. Do not judge or you too will be judged. Forgive others as you would like to be forgiven. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you. Let us now all stand up and profess our faith together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With confidence, let us place our petitions before the Lord. Your responses. Lord, help us to love you all together. Lord, help us to love, love you. For the Pope, the bishops, and the clergy, that they may preach repentance and forgiveness with determination and zeal. We pray to the Lord our response. Lord, Lord help us to love, love you. That we may put into practice and com the commandments of the Lord to love our neighbor so that love, fellowship, and communion may prevail in our communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to love, love you. We pray for unity among the different tribes in Manipur and that the violence may stop and that there may be peace and harmony in Manipur. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, help, help us, us to love you. you. We pray for dignity of women at home, workplace, or anywhere they go. We also pray for justice for our women wrestlers who are protesting in Delhi. We pray to the Lord. Lord, help, help us to love, love you. you. Pray for community and personal needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, help, help us to love, love you. God our Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus, who promised us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Help us to fulfill the demands of the love commandment by loving you and our neighbor. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Oh, bread and wine, we praise 
brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of his holy church as we celebrate your mysteries O Lord with the observances that is your due we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of Sing Hosanna in your praise. He blessed comes in the name of the Lord. Sing Hosanna in the highest. Praise the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Jesus has given his life for us together. Jesus has given his life for us. Deep bound reverence. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Jesus has given his life for us together. Jesus has given his life for us. Deep bound reverence. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and 
and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and to be and serve you, to be apostle, to serve, send, talk, be disciple, serve, apostle. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, especially in our homes, our neighborhoods. Bring us to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy, religious and lay faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Pray for our loved ones. Welcome them into the light of your face. And last of all, we pray for ourselves. Have mercy. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Jesus, with Jesus, in Jesus, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for all glory and honor is yours, the Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Father is very fond of us, and so in full confidence we can pray. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. A powerful prayer of deliverance. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every form of evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy alone, we may be always free from sin and safe from all useless anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my kind of peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. And with Let us offer each other some sign of peace. And be peace to all those participating on TV. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Behold Jesus whom we know. Be home, Jesus, whom we love. Be home, Jesus, whom we wish to serve. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Not worthy that shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to the fullness of life. Amen.
Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, Ghost Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From a malignant enemy, defend me. Let the hour of my death call me, and bid me come to thee. Let with thy saints raise thee for all eternity. Amen. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for the food by which we truly live. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Notices. Notices for the week of 14th May 2023. Navina for the preparation of Pentecost starts from Friday the 19th May. Do pick up the bookmark prayer card placed in the boxes outside the church. The missionary families of Christ Youth are organizing a three-day camp from the 2nd to the 4th June at Vinayalia. This is an opportunity to know Jesus and build good Christian bonds with like-minded youth. For details, please look up the notice board. Please look up the notice board for degree programs offered by Don Bosco Kurla. God bless you for our first Friday collection of rupees 22,040 and the weekend's collection of rupees 95,120. Mass intentions. 7.30 a.m., 17th May, first death anniversary of Sir Shako Fernandez. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with yours. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. And have a wonderful Sunday with your families. Wish you the same.